Whoa, whoa, whoa. So now you're telling me that this is your resolution and that you want to follow this to the entire 2021. Okay, it's not gonna happen. This is too dramatical. This is too dramatical for the resolution to sustain throughout the 2021. So I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna sustain. I'm back, baby. Now, that was quite offending for the intro. This is the first Events Take Wikis video for the year 2021. And if you're watching my face for the first time, do consider subscribing because we post two lit content every week. One, the Sunday Dynamite video in which we recreate the games that we played in our channel, possibly. And another video on Wednesdays, which is the Wednesday Quickies. So do consider subscribing for the hustle that we put into so that we can entertain you guys. So follow us on Instagram at guyskills 2 And don't forget to follow the hashtag guys, GS Army. Peace. Now, 2020 was a rough year. Now, stepping into 2021, a lot of you guys might be taking a lot of resolutions. I want to build a body like a bodybuilder. I want to huge. I want to become popular. I want to be that. I want to be this. But before you step into the resolution game, I want you guys to stop and think and do consider these five tips that I'm about to be sharing with you guys in this video before taking your resolution so that you can sustain in the resolution game without backing off from it. I've seen a lot of people, including myself, from taking a resolution and not sustaining with it. We take a resolution, but we skip from it. We pause from it. We stop following that resolution. Uh, I wanted to find why. At the end of the research I studied, um, I ended up finding the five things that stop people from following their resolution throughout the year. What was your resolution for this year 2021? Drop down in the comment section. My resolution for the year 2021 was to reach 1,000 subscribers and to sustain that 1,000 subscribers throughout the year or at least grow from 1,000 subscribers but not go below 1,000 subscribers. And for that, I need to keep posting content every twice, every week, sustain. I need to maintain the frequency. I need to post good content. So my resolution is backed up with a reason and a foundation covered with the thorough foundation, which is my reason. So which, which is driving me to the first reason of this video, which is the first mistake that people do while setting their resolution, which is setting oversized goals and unrealistic goals. Now, what do I mean by setting oversized and unrealistic goal is that when people think about something, when people want to do something, when people want to achieve something, they, uh, because of the New Year vibe, all they want to do is they want to just go to the very end in the very beginning. Like they want to become a huge bodybuilder, they want to become a huge, all they want is muscle, no fat, and they want to look huge. But, but what is unrealistic is that bodybuilding is a profession, but you want to follow bodybuilding as a lifestyle. So only this is realistic and this is unrealistic. So in order to become like this, you need to, you need to sacrifice your time and put in so much effort and take this as your career and take this as a profession. Bodybuilding is a profession. Being and looking fit is a lifestyle. If I have 800 subscribers at the beginning of the year, my resolution should be to reach 1,000 subscribers and maintain and sustain the growth of the channel with gradually. Oversized and unrealistic goal would be to reach 1 million subscribers at the end of the year, which might happen, I don't know, but that's, that is an oversized and unrealistic goal. So what is the problem with the oversized and unrealistic goal is that in order to follow that goal, halfway there or even before you take baby steps throughout the goal, there will be a place where you will start realizing that this is an unrealistic goal. So your resolution is getting destroyed. Halfway through that goal, your expectations are going to be diminishing. Your expectations are going to be beat up by the reality. So you're going to be vexed, you're going to be fed up, and you're not going to take up any resolutions and you're not going to set any goals. The second thing is don't decide a resolution based on your vibration when you're setting that resolution. So I'm just taking an example of an alcoholic or a smoker. Uh, this is not any kind of stereotype. I'm just going to represent this alcoholic situation so just so that I can explain the GS army in a very easy way. Let me just take an example of an alcoholic person who's going to think that, who's going to set a resolution that I'm going to stop drinking gradually throughout the year. So at the end of 2021, I'm going to be non-alcoholic and I'm going to be pure. So this might be his goal, but because of the vibration at the, at the beginning of the new year, on the new year's eve, his vibration is going to be so positive and he's going to be surrounded by family, friends and positivity, so much positivity and so much positive people, especially he's going to become hyped up and he's going to set a goal that I'm going to stop drinking from the very next day. Well, from, the Jan from January 2 onwards, I'm going to stop drinking, I'm going to consider my family, I'm going to consider the possibility around me. I'm going to consider the friends. And he's going to st start setting up a resolution uh, saying that he's going to stop drinking from the very next day. You had that positive vibration when you were deciding the resolution. But as days go by, that positive vibration is not going to prolong 
you know you're gonna miss that positive vibration at the end of the day you're gonna be by yourself and all alone by yourself your mindset is gonna determine the positivity and your mindset is gonna de uh, determine the negative vibration so when you took that resolution you had the positive people and positive vibration around you when you miss that positivity you're gonna your resolution is gonna lack something your resolution should not be backed up by vibrations but it must be just backed up by the reasons your resolution starts missing out on that positivity your resolution is gonna drive through the negative side on the road and you're gonna start drinking again so do not decide do not take any resolution based on the vibrations that you have on the new year's eve and the third thing is overlooking into the details at the beginning of the year you might be setting a resolution at the very very stretch but what i'm saying is just set goals step by step first reach this goal and when you reach this goal you're going to be eventually pushed to the next goal but these goals must be realistic but in order to be realistic you need not look into the very new corner of the details of your resolution for example if i'm going to develop a body throughout this year before uh, setting a goal I should not be looking into the very details the very first day of my resolution. It's just going to take time for you to realize that there are going to be a lot of details in the process of building a body. Just before setting up a goal, just before even stepping the first step into your goal, if I start looking into the details, there's going to be a lot of just dragging down the books, gathering so much information, just putting down charts and putting down schedules and reading the calorie charts and deciding what to eat, what not to eat. And at the end of the day, you're going to be like, oh my God, there's so much to do for just having a body. And and you're going to change the resolution uh, why does it have so much to do with just building a body and you're going to change the resolution eventually your mind is going to start looking into the easier version of the resolution so do not look into the very detail of the resolution skipping deadlines skipping deadlines eventually you're postponing your resolution uh, at the end of the day, you're postponing your resolution and you're, you're just being lazy on that resolution. So what's going to happen is that all these laziness is going to get accumulated and at the end of the day, your mindset is going to be like, this resolution is bullshit, I won't be able to complete it, so I'm just going to kick off this resolution and think about a new resolution. So do not be lazy and just don't postpone and don't just freaking disrespect the deadline. Just complete it before the deadline. The worst fifth mistake that people commit while deciding about a resolution. Let me just tell you when the process of following the resolution is not keeping a track of what they're doing. So let me just say, if I'm doing something, I need to have a weekly or a regular basis or regular updates of what my resolution is happening or how my resolution is going when it concerns me or how it's going. The regular updates, I need to update myself with the resolution and the habits that I'm following. For example, if I need to stop drinking uh, at the end of the year, I need to reduce my consumption of alcohol, the quantity of the alcohol from today. There must be a difference from today and the next day. Uh, if I skip the process of tracking the results at the end of the week i'm gonna lose the quantity i'm, I'm just gonna lose the results i'm gonna be like did i not just change anything did i just not follow anything in my resolution and at the end of the day you're gonna just you, you just you're gonna be lost in your resolution you need to search for the results you need to update yourself for the results and at the you're gonna mess up your resolution and your, your resolution is gonna be messy in order to have a clean and structured resolution it must be updated regularly it must be realistic it, it must not be over detailed and oversized it must not be looked upon so much the details must not be looked upon so much simple neat just my resolution for the year 2021 is to reach thousand subscribers before february 14th um which is completely dependent on you guys so we've already reached 80 84 percentage of the thousand subscribers we are just on the road to thousand subscribers we have 844 subscribers right now and um, just do consider subscribing my uh, just help me uh, reach my resolution just help me complete my resolution and in order to do that just do consider subscribing and also turn on the post notification bell on and see you in the next week's video episode of Wednesday quickies until then peace. <laughs>